All right. So I'm going to put the sign in one more time into the chat, and I just want to welcome everyone. Uh, today we're going to be talking about WeVideo. Uh, for those of you who um, who are looking for a little bit more um, as far as the video editing goes uh, for what you're putting out there to your students, this is exactly where you need to be today. Um, if you got started earlier today with Anita and her uh, our YouTube training, it's going to kind of go hand in hand with that um, because uh, you're going to see as we go through the videos that you create in WeVideo can be uploaded directly uh, without any extra work on your end uh, into YouTube. And so um, so you can add add things um, as as you uh, add it to YouTube as you as you go along. So um, so let me go ahead and change which screen I'm presenting to. And we will get started. So, in today's uh, for today, uh, the agenda, uh, we're gonna create a WeVideo account here in one second. Uh, we're gonna get an overview of WeVideo. I'll kind of go through the main main features of what it is. Um, I'm gonna edit a video uh, along uh, along with you today. You get to see some uh, some me making some funny faces and uh, that we need to get out of there before I send it to the uh, to the students that I would be sending it to. Um, and then we're going to take a look at group projects, uh, what you can and cannot do with those group projects. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, WeVideo is uh, is a uh, gives you the ability to edit videos, to change them, to add some special effects, add some features, um, and it's one of the only ones that are available. Um, that doesn't require a great PC to run. You can actually run it uh, directly um, on a Chromebook. You can run it on a computer. You can run it on a MacBook. You can even run it on a phone. I, I downloaded the app yesterday. It's not the best experience in the world, but it is available uh, if you need to put together a video really quick for your students. So, um, so let's go ahead. We're going to go ahead and create an account. And so I am going to share a link into the chat. Actually, I'm going to show you how to do it first. Uh, just uh, the, the couple clicks you need to make. So let me share this screen right here. So I'm going to be giving you this link here in one second. And um, it says join Carlsbad whenever you click on it. Uh, and you are going to join uh, with a new account. If you have already used WeVideo, uh, like personally, um, I would still suggest using the join with a new account so that you make sure that you connect to your Carlsbad Schools um, account. So whenever you click join with a new account, um, it's going to give you the option to uh, to sign up in a certain way, but you're going to click the Google option. So sign up with Google, and I'm going to sign up uh, Cave Student Two. It's one of the kind of dummy accounts that we have access to, and put in the password, and that's all you have to do. Um, it's going to actually there is one more. It's going to say, uh, do you want to purchase this today? But there's no charge. Lucky you. And we're going to start creating. So it's going to take you right to where we're going to start the training here in one second. So I'm going to go ahead and put that link into the chat right now. If you could please click on that. Uh, if you are watching this on uh, as a recording um, on the Cavern Crusade, then it will be um, located under the My Resources um, heading. So there's going to be a link to this video. And then right below that, there's going to be a link to sign up. So I'm going to give, um, I'm going to actually mute my mic um, for uh, for a little bit and let you guys uh, explore just for a couple minutes. Click on a few things. You won't break it. Don't worry. And uh, get, get yourself logged in. And uh, I'll come back here in, uh, in about four minutes, so at 2.10. If you have any issues, please let me know, though. Um, Arlene, we have this account. We have um, we purchased these um, kind of for a different purpose. Um, we we purchased them in January of last year, and it's a one year um, 
it's a one-year contract with them or a one-year license, I guess. So we will have this through, I think, through the end of January or might be around the middle of January. Um, but it is one of those things that if we get, um, if there's enough interest in this, we, we would be happy to, uh, to re-up our subscription with them and uh, make it available again for, for one more year. All right, it is 2.10, and so um, I'm going to share this link one more time for those that just came in. Um, it will have uh, the link to the sign-in sheet as well as the link to get your free premium account for WeVideo. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and go over an overview uh, uh, for the next thing. Um, so I'm on this on this page that I um, that, that you should be seeing as well. And the first thing that draws my attention is the bright yellow banner across the top um, that uh, says that we can uh, find examples and inspiration in the resource center. Um, their resource center is incredible. Um, I spent quite a bit of time there yesterday, just kind of taking a look at a few things. It includes videos, it includes templates, um, and and quite a few other things uh, to help you get started. So if you are um, if you are brand brand new to the resource or to to Wee Video and and just editing videos entirely, um, that is a great place to start. I'm going to go ahead and X that away, and because that's uh, that is the resource center. Um, but you can also get to the resource center if the banner goes away up at the top right there is a question mark and so I'm going to click on that question mark and um, here is all of the, uh, the the resources as well so you can see um, inspirational ideas um, there is a community center that you can ask questions like a little forum um, to go to um, it, it gets you started on the step-by-step -step guide on making a video and then again there's uh, tons of videos for you to get started with as well as a search box for you to find something specific so if you um, need help with the storyboard just as an example you can type in storyboard here and it will open up uh, let's see 13 results for uh, for the storyboard so uh, it's it's a, a really great feature so if you lose that yellow bar across the top don't worry just click on the uh, question mark um, that is that is in the top right of your screen 
Um, so going across, um, it's going to drop you off in the dashboard. And the dashboard is going to be the place to go to. You can either start a new video. Um, but let me share my screen with you here. It is also going to be a place where you can see all of your recent edits, the, the videos that you have started working on. Um, and these videos can be ones that you have started or any group projects that you've started along the way as well. Um, going back over to this one, um, you can uh, you are given a, a few different options of what you can uh, set up. So you can set up a you can uh, start by clicking on uh, a video. You can do a recording yourself. You can create a GIF or a GIF depending on your uh, preference of pronouncing that. And uh, you can also do a podcast, which is really just audio. Um, and then there are a ton of uh, templates. There are what six showing right here. But if I click Browse All, you can see. There are uh, quite a bit more than that, as well as some uh, specific um, items that you can search for uh, from right up top. So there's quite a few different uh, templates that, that are going to get you started. We're going to take a look at the templates a little bit more here in a second. So um, going across the top, so I'm in the dashboard. Um, I'm going to click on projects. These are all the projects that that uh, are going to be available to you. And you'll notice that it's separated into two spots. So there's my projects and then shared with me. So any projects that you've started are going to be up here. And then any product projects that are shared with you are going to be in the, in the one below that. And so uh, same thing goes for media. You can drop in your media here. You can drop it in uh, media in quite a few different ways. And I'll show you uh, a couple of that here and here in just a little bit. But if there's a video or an image or something that you know that you want to include inside of your video, uh, this might be a good place to drop it in. And in fact, I'm going to click on that just to show you that you can drag and drop the media um, in there. So if I have um, here my, my downloads folder, if I downloaded this, uh, this book title, uh, Porpoises in Peril, then all I would have to do is just drag and drop it inside and it will upload it. Okay. But in addition to um, dragging and dropping inside, um, you also have the ability to bring in items directly from your Google Drive. Um, or if you have a box, Dropbox, or OneDrive account, um, and you are keeping files in there, um, you will have access to that as well. So um, this is a very, very quick way to, uh, to import in the media that you need to bring in. Um, continuing on, any exports, anything, any videos that you finished and that you have sent out to the general public are going to be uh, located in the exports um, as well as member exports. So if you have uh, any exports of uh, projects that have been shared with you, um, and but but you did not share out yourself, then you can uh, you can join right there. And then finally, um, you have the ability to create a group now. Uh, big picture, uh, WeVideo does allow for students to do creation of video as well. Um, the one thing that I'll say with that is uh, right now we do not uh, we do not have enough licenses for for groups of teachers to just add in. Um, if that's something that um, that we need to do in the future, then uh, you probably need to have a discussion with your principal about that, and and uh, we can kind of figure something out. But right now we're only really making the video editing available for. Uh, for specific uh, individuals yourself, uh, the teachers. But if you, for example, want to work with a teacher um, on the same types of videos, you want to uh, maybe one person film and one person edit uh, because you feel more comfortable doing that, you can click on the Create Group button. And maybe I want to do, uh, because my wife's there, fourth grade Monterey. And then I can go in and uh, either pick the person that I would like to have in this group. Um, or because there's quite a few members, I can search. So I can type in uh, her name, push enter, and I can click on uh, on her information and put it in there. I'm going to make sure that I include myself. So let's do Steven. I'm going to put that in there. And when I click Create, now I have fourth grade Monterey group that is ready to go. And I can now share videos um, to that group um, a lot more easily. Okay. So I'm going to head back over to my dashboard. And in fact, I'm going to go to my dashboard that uh, on some videos that I have already gotten started. Um, um, I think this is on the other one. Um, yeah, so on the bottom left also, sorry, there is also a teacher guide. Uh, and again, the teacher guide is going to go over a few things that aren't necessarily 
um, correct um, as far as the way that we are setting it up. Again, you're, you're not going to bring in students into this quite yet. Um, so it's going to give you the step by steps on how to do that. You're not going to need to know that. But um, to be honest, this teacher guide is probably not necessarily for general consumption. Um, I would uh, find a lot more help on the top right going over to that question mark and uh, creating videos there. All right. So let's go ahead and take a look at some uh, some videos. So um, I can create a new video right up here. And in fact, I'm going to go ahead and click on the recording button here because we do most of our teaching through the recording. And when you are um, when you are given that, you're given the option uh, for three different um, three different choices: a webcam um, only, your screen only, or a combination of the two. So I'm going to do screen and webcam. And uh, this recording edit will be saved in this project. Uh, if you don't have a project here, that's fine. Um, you can put it wherever you'd like and uh, and, and kind of work from there. So it's going to uh, show your, your, your screen and make sure that you are where you need to be. Uh, so make sure that you're centered, you look good, you got your, uh, your hair if you have any left, uh, you, you got that you know, looking good. Uh, and then you can pick the screen that you want to pick from. The issue I have, one of the issues I have with WeVideo um, is that you have no ability to record audio directly from the device itself. Um, you do have the opportunity um, to play it through the speakers and it will pick it up on the microphone. Sometimes that works, sometimes that doesn't work. It does work in WeVideo. Um, I, I wish it were uh, given the opportunity to turn off the mic and just record what would be coming through the speakers. Some programs do offer that. WeVideo does not. Um, but I'm going to record this Wii video session and I'm going to click share. And when I do, it's going to count down from three, two, one. And hello, everyone. Thank you for joining today. Uh, we're going to get started momentarily. And I'm going to, let's see, click stop. And there's my video. And so you can see what it recorded on my webcam. You can see what it recorded on my screen. And I can either record again because I messed up or I can click save. So I'm going to go ahead and click save. Now, this is dro driving, uh, dropping this into the timeline view, and we're going to look at different timelines here in a second, but for the most part, this is what I'm going to be showing you today. Um, this is what it looks like whenever you're editing a video. On the top left, um, you are given all of your resources. Um, these are all the videos that you've brought in, any screen recordings, any podcasts, any uh, recordings of just audio, uh, any pictures, any PDFs, anything you've brought in is going to be right over here. You are also given the opportunity to bring in items, uh, or, or I guess I should say it like this, we video will also provide items uh, for you to use without you having to bring them in. So if I click on audio, just as an example, here are some, uh, some, uh, some music that I can use um, free of charge and, and use them inside of my video. If you'll notice right over here off to the left, um, these are this is free music, but I also have sound effects that I can bring in. So I have you know, animals and events, and here's a hospital, nature, weather, traffic, uh, people, and then anything that didn't fit into those categories. Um, and then also here's some premium music that you have access to. This is um, access only because we have premium access to WeVideo. So top left is going to be, we're going to come back through this, but uh, top left is your uh, all of the media that you're going to bring in. Um, on the top right is the preview of what your video is going to look like. So you can see the way that it put it on here. It put my um, my uh, uh, webcam on the top right and with the screen behind it. You'll notice that the, it's kind of blurry. Okay, the the video is a little bit blurry. Uh, the what what it's what it what it is doing right here is that it's downgrading the video just so that it runs better it will look as good as it recorded. So if you have an HD video camera, if you have a 4K uh, video camera and you bring in your information, it will um, export to 4K, but it's not going to look like it's 4K here, okay? So it's going to look, um, it's, it's going to get downgraded quite a bit just to, just to uh, ease up on the, on the needs of, of your device. And then of course on the bottom you have your timeline and we're going to talk about a timeline. If you have never uh, used a timeline before, um, I would recommend getting used to it. There, are, there is another option, but um, I really do prefer the, the timeline view um, so you can really get a better idea and see what's going on. All right, so that's how easy it is. If I were to just put in a video and, uh, and record myself teaching, 
I could click finish right over here and export it and send it out to my students. Okay, um, you don't have to do anything more than that. So if you are a if you are brand new to to video editing um, and and you can do that part right there, uh, record yourself and and send it out to your students. You're at a at a good point to at least start with. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and go back into my dashboard, though. And so here's the recent edit, as I said. As you start um, putting more information uh, or as you start creating more videos, they're going to appear here. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and click on, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go to one of the templates so you can kind of get a, a bigger idea of what these uh, things might look like. So I'm going to click Browse All. And I found one that I really liked earlier. It was this one right here. Uh, newscast for K to 12. So this is a template that you could use, um, and in fact, you could replace the videos in here and use it exactly as it is. But I'm going to go ahead and click use, and I'm going to go ahead and just pick the one that I'm in. That's fine. And um, uh, I need to see more of this. They've, they've done quite a few things right here at the bottom, so I need to see more of this. And I want to draw your attention to this slider right here. I can uh, I can make this video bigger, which makes my timeline bigger, or I can slide it to the right and make my timeline bigger and make the video smaller. Um, and so I'm going to slide that to the right just so I can take a look at this. So you can see there is quite a few things on this timeline. And the way that, it, um, that you kind of look at these timelines is uh, from the bottom up what is happening. So um, almost like a, uh, like, a, like a piece of paper. If I were to put this background on here, the background is going to show um, on the bottom. But if I put this uh, screen capture right here above that, then that second video gets put on top. If I were to put another video on top of that, then that video gets put on top of the others. And in fact, um, I'm going to edit this and, and make the scale bigger. You can see that if I um, if if I have that taking up my entire screen, then that's the only thing that I can see, and I won't be able to see anything uh, before that. Um, in addition to that, then you can also put things on top of those, and um, you can add layers upon layers upon layers depending on the needs that you have for that video. Um, and so, what I like about the templates is um, is if you wanted to do a newscast with your students, um, here's mission mission prep morning news. Um, you could come over here and edit the mission prep morning news. Sorry, I'm going to click edit and have it say CMS morning news and there we go. Well, CMS Morning News, Morning News, there you go. But you can edit this template so that it takes a lot of the work out of it um, for what you might need it uh, to do. And you can just uh, place your videos inside, place your pictures, whatever the case is, and you have a video ready to go that, that has quite a few edits in it. Um, so if you can do that, then you're, then you're set, right? But I'm going to go in and go to my dashboard one more time, and I'm going to discard those changes. I don't really need them. So um, creating a new uh, new item from scratch um, is, is, as I said, just as easy as either clicking on uh, whether you want to in, import a video or a recording or a GIF or a podcast. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and click video this time. And I'm going to, yeah, put the where, wherever it has been. And you can see here I am left with a blank page. So I just want to go over uh, one thing first. If you are really, really brand new to editing, I do not recommend this, but you can do it. Um, right here, there is three lines. It's a hamburger menu, and I'm going to click on that hamburger menu. Uh, and you're given a few other options here, uh, and, and you know most of them make sense: open and save, and, and so forth. Um, we'll get into the format here in a little bit. But there's also this thing at the bottom called storyboard, and I'm going to click on that just for a second. Um, what this is is a very, very, very simplified version of the timeline. I do not recommend using this because what it's really doing is it's stripping away um, a lot of the features that are available to you uh, and, and making, making it a little bit more challenging to, to work on if you, uh, if you know what you're doing. But uh, at the same time, if you are just getting started, then this might be a good place uh, for you to, to go to. And so I'm going to come over here on my top left into my uh, my resources, and I'm going to click on stock media. These are things that are available to you uh, for free to use with no problem. 
And um, I could also click on backgrounds and, and get quite a few uh, of those as well. But I'm going to click on the stock video, and I'm going to drag this down into the bottom. And what it does is, it, uh, just like a storyboard, the first thing that's going to play is this title, and then it's going to go right into that story, or that, that video that I put in, and then that's the end of the video. I can bring in multiple items by dragging, and, or by uh, selecting them all at once and dragging them in. And so this storyboard um, does make it quite a bit easier to see what's going on. Um, having said that, you, as I said, you are limited uh, to what you can do. Um, so I'm not going to spend too much time talking about this. You can, you can still trim these items. You can split them. You can do some editing on here. Um, uh, in fact, this clip right here is seven seconds long. If I only wanted it to be five seconds long, I could either, you, you notice whenever I hover over these uh, buttons right here, I get my, my arrows that appear. I can drag this to the left, and you can see that number going down. I can get it down to five seconds. Just, or I can drag from the right-hand side and go down. There's my five seconds. So I can make it exactly the time that I want it to be. I can also split it by dragging this right here in the middle. So I, let's say I want to split it maybe right here in the middle. Um, the blue line is my timeline, and I am going to click the split button. Um, I can also uh, push the letter S on my keyboard, but I'm going to click the split button. And now here is uh, 2.52 seconds on one side, 2.48. So I didn't get it exactly in the middle, uh, but that, that's not too bad. But it split this clip into two places so that I can add some, some edits or, or something along the way. Um, I can also drag these items if I put them out of order. I can drag them and put them wherever I would like them to be um, and, and, uh, and do my editing that way. Um, off to the left, here's where I can add any themes. I can add music and I can add um, re record my audio as well if I wanted to do a voiceover. But those are all the options that are really available on the storyboard. So you're limited, like I said, quite a bit on, on exactly what you can do. Um, there are some additional options but on the, if I hover over and click on the pencil, but again, I'm not going to spend too much time on this right here. So I'm going to go ahead and go back into my timeline view. So I'm going to click on the three hamburger menu, or the three line hamburger menu, and I'm going to switch to timeline. And so you can see the exact same edits that I had before um, are, are kept. So I still have my blue line that's my timeline. I still have my clip that was split right in the middle and, and, uh, and, and nothing really changes. Um, so if I wanted to split this clip just like I did before, I can put it about in the middle and here's my scissors and I can split that clip. Um, I can delete the clip if I click on it. You can see that I, I'm given quite a few options here. Uh, a pencil for, for editing. Um, I'm given um, opacity, uh, making it transparent. Um, I'm given um, audio options, some special effects, and then I can delete it entirely. Um, so if I have an edit that, that uh, I, if I had something in there that I didn't want to have, then I can uh, delete it right away. And I can drag this so that there's no, uh, there's no blank spot in the middle. Um, so the editing that I can do in the storyboard is the same editing that I can do here, but I am given a lot more options here on adding audio and adding uh, special effects along the way. Okay. So I am going to um, go ahead and um, I'm going to go back into my dashboard, and I had started a video called We Video Tutorial. So I started this uh, yesterday. I haven't done anything on it yet, and um, um, so I'm just going to kind of walk you through making a video from from start to finish and, and the different things that you might need to do along the way. Okay. Uh, the first thing I've done, I have, I went ahead and brought in, um, not these videos, let's see, we video tutorial. I went ahead and brought in these three videos. Um, I did a green screen using our uh, Padcaster that is available to all staff, so you can do the same type of video that I did using this, uh, this uh, program. Um, but what I did is I uh, had a little intro video, that's what this one is right here. Um, and I read the first chapter of a book called Porpoises in Peril. And so let me see, am I presenting? I'm going to change the way I'm presenting so you can see the audio or hear the audio. Um, there we go. 
So what I'm going to do is um, I have my video here and I'm going to drag it into uh, my lowest, uh, actually not my lowest, um, and I'll, t I'll, show, actually, uh, I'll show you why here in a second. I'm, I'm going to drop it into uh, video two here. And um, you notice that the, uh, the bar around the video has turned green. Um, I can put it in video one and it's green. I can put it in video two that it's green. And, and that makes sense because it's a video. If I drop it in the main, I guess it works there too. There is an audio level though. I guess I deleted that on accident. So I'm going to add it. Um, there is an audio level at the bottom. And I, if I were to try to drop my video into the audio section, it's not going to work. Um, only that is only for uh, for audio only. So I'm going to go ahead and drop this in my uh, video two section here, and I'm going to delete that. I'm going to make this just a little bit smaller so you can see the rest of it. Um, and if I were to play this. Hi, boys and girls. Today we're going to be taking a look. Can you guys hear that? Thumbs up. Good. So here I have my video, and um, I'm, I don't. I'm kind of embarrassed by some of these. Um, let me go ahead and let me go ahead and play the first part. Book, Porpoises in Peril. Now, Porpoises in Peril is about a group from. Now, Porpoises in Fun, Peril. Fun, right? <laughs> the phone is ringing at this point, now, so I have to wait on the phone. Will introduce you to a group of students. No. Group of kids. Here we go. The phone rings about halfway through, so I have to wait on it. And then I do finish it up. So I've got quite a few things in here. Let me stop that. I've got quite a few things in here that I need to get rid of. Uh, I don't want to include those in the video. Maybe I'll make a, a bloopers later and, and send that for good laughs. Um, but there's quite a few things that I want to do. But the way that we video works, and this isn't necessarily we video, this is just editing videos in general. There really is a process that you want to follow um, along the way. And so um, the process um, go, and it's in the agenda here. Let me share this. Um, the process, and you might want to write these things down here. Um, the process when you're editing a video, of course, adding the files, which I've already done. Uh, you want to do any color correction on the, um, on the video that you need to do. You want to do that first, um, because you're making grand, big changes first. Um, and then you want to edit the footage to get it uh, focused a little bit more. Um, then you want to add any B-roll or any overlays um, along the way, so you're fine-tuning it even further. Um, then you want transition, so you're basically done with the video. You're just making uh, tiny little changes along the way to um, to uh, to transition from one video to to the other, so that it actually just looks a little bit more clean, more professional. Um, and then um, the last thing that you would want to do is add in any music. Um, and the reason you want to add that in last is because any edits that you make along the way um, might get uh, might get the the music might get edited out along the way, and then you're just left with with bits and pieces, um, you know, as you go through. Now, as with anything, um, there there might be some. Um, you might change the order of this depending on uh, on what you're doing, um, but for the most part, this is a good little um, uh, way to follow uh, a little, little timeline, I guess, of, of from start to finish how you might be creating your videos. I uh, do not have this is an image, so I can't I can't copy this in there, but I will uh, make it available. Uh, actually, I can. Give me one second. There we go. Color correction, I, I, did, I left off adding files. So you might add uh, put adding files right there at the beginning. All right, so let me go back into this. All right, so the first thing I want to do is any color correction. Now, obviously, um, I have a, a big old green screen on the back. So you might want to see this anyways. Uh, so I, again, whenever I click on any of my uh, videos, I have a uh, the option to edit it. So I'm going to click on the pencil right there. And I'm given one, two, three, four, five, six, seven tabs of different things that I can do. Now I can add captioning. I can do quite a few things here. Um, I can transform this. I can make myself smaller. I can make myself uh, terrifying. Um, I can also um, flip it. 
uh, and so really, really mess with people. Um, and then you can rotate it. So um, there's a few things that you can do. You can also position it um, by either changing these numbers or you can drag it wherever you want to go um, on the page. Um, uh, there's an audio level. We'll mess with audio. That's one of the later things that we do. Um, there's also animations um, of you can make the video do certain things and like from start to finish maybe it starts on the right hand side and it goes to the left or something. You can do that right here. Um, but here's the color correction. Here's where I want to start. So um, let me get to a different spot on the video. If I just don't look right, which you know isn't um, abnormal, um, I can change the brightness here, make it a little bit darker, make it a little bit lighter. Um, I can change the contrast, um, of course, saturation, temperature. If I want to make it a little bit more blue, I go this way. If I want to make it a little bit more red, I go this way. Uh, this is me if I've been out in the sun for all day, um, and, and so forth. Um, where I want to go, though, because I'm doing uh, a green screen, I want to go to the, uh, the color keying because I want to get rid of all the green. And so if I click on my dropper here, I, it's going to allow me to pick a color that appears on the video, and whenever I do that, everything behind me turns uh, turns green. You can do some um, some fine tuning of this. Um, I have found that the fine tuning on the green screen on Wii Video is not very. Um, it it doesn't it, the fine tuning isn't very fine tuny. Uh, it it gets you pretty close, and then if you don't like it, you're you're almost stuck with it. Um, I've seen other programs where you can really change change what's going on, uh, but by dragging some of these things, you can kind of see what it does along the way. So it, it um, uh, but anyway, so I've got that black, which is where I want it to be because everything behind me now is um, it, it can can. I can add things to it. Um, and then finally, I can change the speed. So if you really want to have fun with this, you crank that thing up and, and you talk faster than, uh, you know, faster than one of the funniest cartoons you've ever seen. Um, I'm going to leave it where it is, though, and I'm going to go ahead and click Save Changes. And the reason I put this video second is because it's a green screen and I want something behind my green screen to appear. So I'm just going to pick something from the backgrounds here. Uh, nothing too uh, too crazy, but I'm just going to grab this blue stripes here and drag it right over there. And so now you can see the uh, the screen behind me works. But as you notice, then it goes away. So here it is, but then it goes away. So what I can do with this, though, is um, I can click and drag this, and it will copy the same background that I have and play it throughout. So now I have my, my green screen, and I have my, uh, my background below that. If I would have uh, just switching the order, if I would have switched the order and done it like this, then I don't appear anywhere because the background is on top of my, uh, my, my green screen video. So let me just fix that. So th that's the color correction. I'm, I'm fine-tuning the color, and I'm cleaning up any of the uh, the... Uh, the green screen effects or, or anything like that. I'm getting those um, set and ready to go. Uh, and in fact, br uh, fi bringing in the background, you might not even do it right, right away, um, but it's not going to make too much of a difference. So, so I'm going to go ahead and actually delete that background and just work with this. So obviously I need to uh, go to the next thing, which is editing this footage. So uh, let me play a little bit. And I know that I want to get rid of the first part where I sit down. And hi, hi boys and girls. So hi boys and girls. I'm gonna pause Today. it, and I'm gonna show you one thing on this timeline. Uh, some as I create videos, I like to use. Um, on the left hand side, um, you're given, of course, the option. If I were just just wanted to delete this entire line of video, I can click this button right here. Um, but I'm also given uh, the, the opportunity to change the size of it. So if I just don't, if I know that I don't want to touch this, I can make it smaller. Um, but if I want to do some bigger edits on this, which I want to do right now, I'm going to make it bigger because now you can actually see the audio levels that appear throughout. So you can see right about here is whenever I start. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a cut right here at the beginning. So I'm going to put it about right there, and I'm going to click the split key. Now, I don't want this anymore. This is what I want. So I'm going to click delete, and it gets rid of it, and I'm going to drag it over to the beginning. So let me watch just a minute and see when I need to stop girls. it next. Today we're going to be taking a look at the book 
Porpoises in Peril. Now, Porpoises in Peril is about a group from... Uh, see, I messed up. So the last thing I said that was good uh, happened about right here. So I'm going to make a split. Now, what's nice about this is this is good. I want to keep this, but I still need to make some edits on this. So I'm going to keep watching. And I know that I made a mistake there and there. And then the, let's see, did Porpoises I... Porpoises in Peril will introduce you to a group of students. Yep, so I don't need that. Uh, so I'm going to actually come way over here and start here, and I'm going to split it one more time. Now, I don't need any of this, so what can I do with it? I can delete it and bring it back over. Harold, you to a group of young... Oh, looks like I split a little too much. Let's try that again. So split it now and delete it. Okay, so now Porpoises in Peril is going to introduce you to a group of young kids that are trying to figure out why porpoises from a certain part of the country keep getting sick. There's a lot to learn about in this book, and it's going to be a fun one. So I'll go ahead and let the. All right, so I made another mistake right there. I made it almost all the way through. Fun one. All right, so I'm going to make a cut right there. All of this is good. I'll go ahead and let the. So I'll go ahead and let the book. So I'll go ahead and let the book. So I'm going to make one more. Uh, see, I'm going to make one more cut about right there. And so this is trash to me as well. So now, let me get rid of all the space there. So from beginning to end. Now, Porpoises in Peril is going to introduce you to a group of young kids that are trying to figure out why porpoises from a certain part of the country keep getting sick. There's a lot to learn about in this book, and it's going to be a fun one. So I'll go ahead and let the book start right now. All right, so I'm going to come to about the last part where I was smiling and make one more cut, and I'm done. So that's the edit that I needed to do. So now from start to finish, I've gotten rid of all those embarrassing moments, all those things that I'm glad that 47 people didn't watch me do, and um, and then we can add the, uh, the additional <laughs> items. And um, so let's see, that's me editing the, the footage. And uh, now, because I've made all my cuts, I am going to go ahead and bring in my background here. All right, so um, now I need some B-roll and overlay. And what I wanted to show you here is that at some point, Girls, today we're going to be taking I point to a book. Corpuses. All right, so I am pointing to something that isn't there. But I want it to be there, right? I want that book to be here. And so what I need to do, you notice I have filled up my video one, I filled up my video two, and I need this book cover to be on top of everything that I've done so far. So I'm going to click over here on this plus button to add an additional track. Uh, I obviously want to pick um, video, and I, I like to name things as best I can. Um, so I'm going to say uh, book cover, and I'm going to add that track. So um, this, this gives me the opportunity. I'm going to go into my media. You notice I don't have a picture of the book yet. So what I have done yesterday is I searched the internet, and I made a copy of the picture of the book, Porpoises in Peril, and I downloaded it. And so here it is in my downloads folder. And, um, and I'm showing you this because you don't have to go into your media in order to add items into WeVideo. You can actually drag it directly into um, your edit as you're going through it. So you don't have to go in any different places uh, to get there. So I drag it in. You can see the progress bar filled up pretty quickly. And that book is now available for me to drag in. So I'm going to go ahead and drag it into about right there. See, I would say that looks about where it needs to, right? Uh, it covers me up. I'm, I'm set, right? Uh, but it's not quite where I need it to be. You can see my finger pointing to this area, and that's where I need to put myself. So I'm going to have to do an edit on this uh, book cover. So I'm going to... Uh, hover over it and I'm given, uh, because it's kind of a small clip, um, I'm given this hamburger menu that I have to hover over to get to. But I'm going to open up the editor and I need the size of this to be smaller. Nope, that is my captions, I'm sorry. I need the scale of this to be smaller, so I need it to be about right there. And I want to move it to where I'm pointing, which is about right there. Um, I'm going to double check on these. I don't want to add in any 
add in any animations. I don't really need to do any um, color correcting on this, and, and it's not a green screen, so I'm good. So I'm going to click Save. So now going to the beginning, I want to put this in the, at the right time, and so I'm going to have to play the video just for a second. Today we're going to be taking a look at the book. Por All right, so about right there is where I want it to be. We're going to be taking a look at the book Porpoises in Peril. Now, Porpoises in Peril is going to introduce you to a group of young kids that are trying to figure out why porpoises from a certain part of the country keep getting sick. And I probably want this to go go almost to the very end. So I'll go ahead. And yeah, let's let's uh, drag that to about right there, because I want that book to be showing porpoises in peril the entire time. So now you can see as I as I scrub through, um, that that book is going to show, and then it's going to go away. Now. If I wanted to, that's adding that's adding um, some overlays. Um, if you have any B footage, you know B footage is like the uh, if you're watching a uh, a news article instead of watching the person just talk about the news article, they're showing something in the background, people walking, you know, or or uh, if something happened at a you know if there was a, a train wreck, for example, it's showing pictures of the train wreck. That's going to be um, the, that anything that's happening in the background. Um, so if you want to add that stuff, you want to add it at, basically at this point and do the fine tuning after that. So um, that's the only uh, overlay that I wanted to add. Although I will show you if you wanted to, I'm going to go ahead and click add a new uh, video track here. And if you wanted to, um, you can add text along the way as well. And there is some, uh, some templates for you to use um, in this area. So if you wanted, uh, let's see, let's see, slide left here. If I wanted, uh, whenever I came up, to for it to just say my name, so um, I probably picked a, a bad one to as an example, but um, yeah, that's not a very good one. So let me let me go into here we go, marquee on the lower third, just something a little bit smaller here. Ah, there we go. So Stephen Morgan, and here's some secondary text. Um, I can't spell porpoises. How do you? Is that good? <laughs> yes. Can't even spell peril. I don't think porpoises in peril. Maybe I'll put you know sixth grade teacher or learning specialist. But here we go. We'll just put that for right now. You can change the color of this if you are not a fond of those. Uh, you can change that. Uh, you can also do the color palette of the uh, the messaging, so we can make it black, whatever color. White looks better. Um, and so I can save those changes. And now this will actually um, come in um, as an animation, I believe. Hi, boys and girls. There you go. Today we're going to be taking a look at the book Porpoises in Peril. There we go. So we can add things along the way. Um, and again, you don't have to do all the work. You could make that, by the way. Um, you could completely make something from scratch and have it animate in, animate out, um, do those things. Um, but uh, nobody's got time for that. So uh, go ahead and use the templates that are found in the text uh, section. So I don't want this in my in my video, although it's not hurting anything. So I'll just leave it. Um, but if I wanted to, I could um, hover over this and click the trash can and uh, and get rid of it entirely. Um, so, uh, the next thing I want to do is add any transitions. So, um, because I have such a short video, there's not too many transitions that I need to add. But right up here, um, again, along the stock media, my media text, I also have a transitions page right here. And you're given a few uh, different transitions. And, and uh, you know, we're not making professional videos here, so you can kind of have fun with them. Um, but uh, you you can have these have these items come in and and make it make it a little bit more unique. So um, if I want this porpoises in peril book to maybe fade in, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this to the beginning, or I can drag it to the end. And so I'm going to drag into the beginning, and instead of that book just popping in, now oh, it's going to porpoises in peril kind of fade in and just make it a little bit uh, not so jarring. Um, as it comes in. Um, if I do, uh, I, can, I can do quite a few other things. So instead of having the fade in, I can change that to a rainbow. Taking a look at the book, Porpoises in Peril. And whoa, that's, now, that, that, that's a little much for my liking. So I don't think we're going to add that one in there. So I'm going to go back 
uh, to the crossfade and uh, put that right in there. And uh, usually, whatever you do at the beginning, you probably want to do something similar to the end. So I'm going to go ahead and have that thing fade out at the end. Let's see what that looks like. It's going to be a fun one. So I'll go ahead and let the book start. There you go. It kind of fades out, makes it look a little bit better. Um, but your transitions page is going to be right here, um, and it, that, this is the place where you're going to be able to, to you know, spice it up um, on the on the different animations as you go through. Now, keep in mind you are not limited to just the beginning and the end. If you wanted to add a transition right in the middle, for example, for whatever reason, maybe you uh, just you know just for for funsies, um, you can make a split right here. So I'm going to click my uh, my scissors button and you can then add that split right into the middle and so for whatever reason figure out why porpoises from a certain you put that right in there in the middle if if uh, if you so want to um okay so that's adding transitions adding music is just as easy as anything else so i'm going to come over to my audio section this time and i am going to add that in let's see how ridiculous this sounds now hi boys and girls today we're going to be changing it's not too bad, actually, but I do, it's too loud. So I'm going to lower this, uh, and this is where I wanted to kind of talk about audio. Um, you have two different places where you can mess with audio. You can mess with the entire section here. So if I change this, it's going to lower or raise this entire anything I put in here, no matter what it is. So if I want to put that down to 10 as an example, um, let's play it and see. Hi, boys and girls. Today we're going to be taking... It's not too bad. Right? So that's about where you want it to be. And, um, or, uh, but if you only want to, uh, to lower certain things at a time, you can do some fine tuning um, inside by clicking on the audio button. And so by clicking on that, um, you can change this particular clip. So if you had five or six different clips, you can change the, um, the, the noise or, or the, the, the level on, on each one separately. Um, and you can also add in some fades, so just by clicking on that button. So if I click on fade, maybe I want it to fade uh, for two seconds at the beginning and I want it to fade uh, for two seconds at the end, and I didn't edit this yet, so it's in the wrong spot. Um, so in fact, let's edit this. I need, the, I need the audio to end at about right there. And so now whenever I go in, I want it to fade for two seconds at the beginning, two seconds at the end, and I want the audio level to be maybe about 15. And so let's uh, let's see what that sounds like whenever it fades in. Hi, boys and girls. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the book, Porpoises in... There we go. Uh, most exciting thing you've ever watched, I'm sure. So um, so you can uh, make those edits to the audio. And again, you don't want to, you don't want to put the audio in at the beginning uh, unless you're doing it for a very specific reason. You don't want to put the audio in at the beginning because any edit you make along the way, see, for example, if I make an edit right here, see, it's going to split that audio in half, and I don't necessarily want to do that. Um, so you want to add in the audio is kind of the last thing that you do. All right, so I've made sure that this video is absolutely perfect. I've rewatched it um, one or two times to make sure that I didn't uh, do anything silly that's going to get me on the evening news or anything like that. And I am ready to finish up this project. So um, on the top right, um, I'm going to go ahead and click um, Finish. And um, it's going to give you the opportunity to name it um, what you would like to name it as. So even though you did a video, you can do it as audio only or as a GIF. Um, and then it's going to ask for the resolution. Because we have the premium plan, you have the opportunity to click the HD version. But this is going to change depending on whatever you recorded it in. So if you have a cell phone that you recorded with 4K, um, again, you're going to have an, another option here that says 4K video. And so you're going to have a chance to add that. Um, uh, then it's going to ask what destination would you like to send it to. Now. I would always send it to Wii Video. I would always have it there, um, just in case. Um, but you can also add it to your Google Drive, which you would have to connect. So whenever you click on that, uh, it's going it's going to give you the opportunity to connect it. So I'm going to click on uh, my name and click Allow. So now it's going to create this copy. It's going to create it in Wii Video, but it's also going to add it into my Google Drive. Um, my third button here, though, is YouTube. And so I'm going to go ahead and click on that. I'm going to have to connect this. And it's going to say, now it's connected there as well. So it's going to make a wee video. It's going to put it in my Google Drive. And it's also going to publish it 
on YouTube and um, it publishes it um, as, um, I, I'm not sure is hidden or as unlisted. I think it's listed as hidden, but it just gets it there so that whenever you're ready to share that link out, um, there it is. And then there is some additional options as a um, kind of similar to what we had earlier, Dropbox and Box. There is fire, uh, file transfer protocol in case you uh, need to do that. If you uh, love Vimeo, you can do that. Um, but anyways, mark export as public. I guess here's the option. So I would, I would, uh, I want this to go live and I'm ready to go. So I'm going to click export. Um, normally, and this is this is the thing that uh, video editing requires the most hardware for, um, uh, power on the PC for, is to create these videos, to to process them, and do all that. What's great about WeVideo is that it does that for you, so you don't need a great computer in order to process these videos. No matter how many edits, no matter if it's 4K, no matter what. Um, it's going to do it uh, for you. What's nice is it kind of gives you the, it's going to be ready in a minute 24. It doesn't really take that long. Um, it, it is pretty quick. Um, but you don't have to have, you don't have to stay here and watch it um, like many other um, editing software. So um, I use a different software. I will probably start using Wii Video. The more I've messed around with this, the more I really, really like it. And, um, and so I don't have to wait around for this video to finish where I just have to twiddle my thumb because my computer is using all of its energy to make that. I can close this entirely, go to something else, and I will get an email that says my video is ready, um, you know, here in about 48 seconds. Um, now, in addition to this, um, I, I will point out that um, the exports, they do appear here as well. So if you lost that video, you can come up to your exports tab here at the top, and you can see actually this video is ready in about 15 seconds. And then here's another video that I've done before. Um, I'm sorry. Oh, someone had a question. If you wanted to add it uh, to Kami as a video, um, you can take the, uh, what I would do is add it to YouTube first, um, as, as we've already done. I would, uh, let's go ahead and, well, uh, it's, not, it's not ready yet, but um, if you go into your YouTube channel, uh, let me do that on, on this one right here. And by the way, uh, and, and I'm sure um, Anita went over this um, during her training, but I'm going to go ahead and go over it really quick. If you go into YouTube uh, for the very first time, um, oh, you can't see that. Give me one second. Let me share the right thing. So if you go into YouTube for the first time, uh, whenever you sign in, um, you are going to uh, when you click create and you click upload video, it's going to ask you to create your account first. So, um, so yeah, we're going to just use uh, we're going to use our regular name, and it's ready to go. And so I want to upload a video, which actually I won't have to do with this because it's going to upload it for me. So instead, I would go into YouTube Studio, and um, all of my videos, sorry, all of my videos are going to be right in here. Now, I didn't upload this on this account, um, but but this is where I would get my URL. And so the question was, how do I get this into YouTube or onto Kami? I'm going to go into my YouTube um, studio uh, and get the URL from the video and just uh, add it as a comment onto Kami so that that video appears on the side, just as if I had recorded it inside of Kami. Um, and so that's how you would add that uh, along the way. The last little bit that I want to show you, I am, I am out of time, um, but the last uh, thing that I wanted to show you was um, adding different people to these projects. So I'm going to go into this project, and you can see the different, um, the different videos that I have uh, available to me. Um, and I want to add someone else to work on, uh, someone else to work on this uh, along with me. So I'm going to click on We Video Tutorial, and on the top right, kind of like in Google, uh, on a Google Classroom uh, or on, on a Google Doc or something, the share button is going to be on the top right. And so I'm going to invite people to this project. And I can invite with a link where if they click on it, then they get access. Um, I can add all members if you are feeling extra, um, you know, brave and you want just everyone on there, but I wouldn't click this button, uh, and, but I would select members. So if I wanted um, just, for example, Anita and I to work on this video, I can click her and now she will get an email that says you have been added uh, to this project, and now she has access to this. Um, and in fact, let me let me go in here and 
I do want to show you one thing. I'm going to also add that cave student. So I'll add both of them. So let me open this up on their side just to show you. Uh, and, and in fact, let me let me start editing this. And, and so if I'm editing this, and let's say I am this other cave student. So I'm on this other account. And now, uh, whenever I go into projects, if I go into the shared with me button, um, maybe I need to refresh. There it is. So here's the the video that that um, that I have been invited to. This is not like Google Docs in this way, in that Google Docs you can be working on the same thing at the same time. Uh, we video does not give you the opportunity to do that. So if I were to click on this, you can see the video edit is locked, and I actually can't go into it at all. Um, what I would have to do on this end is um, exit out of it, um, and or you would have to maybe email that person, say, "Hey, I want to work on this video," or you're going to have to wait till they're done. Um, but now, whenever I go into it, um, now I can edit it. So you can only only one person can be editing a video at a time. Uh, so that is um, a little bit of a of a limitation there. So, um, so my agenda was to get an overview, to talk about editing and, and the various things that you can do with it, and to, to go over group projects. So I went over um, by, by about three minutes, um, but I hope that everyone got out um, everything that they uh, got something out of this um, that, they, that they would have liked to have gotten out of it. Um, I will be sticking around here for a few minutes to answer any questions that you might have and, uh, and go over it, uh, and, and I'd be happy to answer uh, any along the way. So, um, but other than that, uh, I want to thank everyone for your time. Um, I'm going to go ahead and paste into the chat one more time the link to the sign-in sheet as well as the link to get your free premium account with WeVideo. And um, but other than that, I just want to thank everyone for your for your time today, and uh, please let me know if you have any questions that come up along the way. All right, thank you all. So Stephen, I don't have a question, but now that you've done this, you're making it where I have to step up my YouTube game. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I think I think Anita's the 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 YouTube boss actually. So um, she she's got quite a few more things on there than I do. But um, Stephen, you were talking about the halo, the green screen stuff. Yes, ma'am. Is there a way to get that halo off, or is that not quite? No. So I mean. If you are if you're working for a incredibly uh, talented, um, or if you have someone who is incredibly talented at making sure that the 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 you know ex the what you're wearing kind of fits in perfectly and doing all those things, you might have a better better time with it. Um, I it, we video is good because it's free because it works on or because it's you know. Uh, because it works on so many platforms, it's not going to going to give you like the best um, you know quality as far as that goes. So you're always going to have, and in fact, this is better than some of the other free um, uh, items that I've used in the past. Um, there there are certain things that it can do and certain things that it can't do. Uh, green screen is is one of the ones that's kind of maybe on the lower end, but not horrible. Um, there's always going to be a little bit of a halo around the outside. Um, uh, at least on Wii Video, most programs are going to have a little bit of a halo as well. But um, so, unfortunately, that's that's a you you can tweak it and and uh, to tweak it, I'm going to click on uh, click on that and and click on the edit and click on the green screen and you can kind of tweak it just a little bit um, to try to get rid of that halo a little bit more. Um, but you can see, I just I just went through all of it and um, and it didn't it didn't. Okay, there's a new fringe. Yeah, there you go. That's it better. Get rid of a little bit more, but now it's That's a little better. bit more um, harsh, you know, along yeah. the edges. Yeah. So it's it's like half yeah. a dozen one, you know. Yeah. Well, yeah. I'm just saying preference, but yeah. Yeah. That yeah. was just kind of bugging me a bit. I was just yeah. like, wait. <laughs> <laughs> sure. How do you make a page roll as you read it? Um, so it's going to record exactly what's on your screen, Julie. 
Um, and uh, I, I didn't even go into the actual uh, book that I, that I had recorded for. Um, I did not make the page roll in that sense. Um, what I, but, but you could. If you had a PDF, just to, if you had a really long PDF, let me see if I can actually open, open one up here. Um, I have and there are programs that will help you do this that will help you create a, a, a long um, image but let me see if I still have one that I can share gosh I'm not seeing one let me see So I don't have one saved, but I can get one. Um, there are programs where you can... Um, now, if you have it as a PDF, you can actually insert a PDF in, uh, directly, and it'll do every page separately. And you can kind of expand it and, and, and go up and down on there. But let me... I'm just going to go to MSN, and I'm going to grab a screenshot. And uh, it's not going to let me do it on that one. All right, that's not the important part. That's not the question you're asking. Uh, let me just bring in um, uh, a, let me go in and add, oh, you know what? I'll add it from my Dropbox or my Google Drive. Oh, it's, I'm not even connected to the right account. So, So I want to import from my Google Drive. I want to import this um, this PDF. It's going to add each page of the PDF separately, um, in case you're curious about it. But I'm going to drag this in, and let's say I want this to to scroll like you said. If you and I, as I said, there's kind of two ways to do it. The first way is just to scroll it yourself, and, and it'll record anything that's going on. But you can have it do that automatically. And let me, I'm going to edit this, and I'm going to make the scale really, really big. Um, of course, and I'm going to start it at the beginning. So, um, so maybe I wanted to to kind of do that. We'll do some Star Wars scrolling here. Um, so what I'm going to do is head over to the animations page. And what it's going to do is it's going to say, where do I want this to start at the beginning? So I'm going to drag this all the way down, and I'm going to set it to that at the beginning. And then I'm going to say, at the end of the clip, I want it to, I want it to go the other way. I want it to scroll um, like that. So now I'm not going to fine tune this, but you would want to fine tune it and make sure that it all lines up. But um, but now this will scroll across. The page. There you go. So it's using the animation is going to be the tool that you would use in order to make that scroll. Um, one of the ways, I should say. I hope that answered your your question, Julie. And I that wasn't just uh, completely confusing. We still have some people in here. That means there's probably some questions. <laughs> 